Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludobox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Clash of Rage. Clash of Rage is an area control game for 1-4 to four players ages 14 and up and for around 90 minutes of gameplay. So this is a game about controlling areas. So uh, you have a clan and you want to lead your clan to victory by having 4 victory points at the end of your turn. Uh, you get victory points by forging legendary equipments or by controlling elven cities. Controlling a city or any space is basically having one of your units on that space. So if you want to control a city, you have to get rid of the elves that inhabit that city. And doing so requires combat. But obviously this is a race and this is competitive, so you're going, you are going to fight with your opponents as well. So, um, first off, we are going to perform a tactic phase, which is the first thing of the round that we're going to do. Every player is going to have a tactics deck and they are going to draw three cards uh, out of their tactic decks and this is their tactical hand. And they are going to play one card of their tactical deck. Uh, they are going to choose one card from their hand, reveal it simultaneously and then act accordingly. So this is going to determine turn order. You go from uh, lowest to highest and then you're going to be collecting some money. In this case I'm going to get 12 gold and my opponent will collect 12 gold, but you are also going to um, be able to place units. And these units are really good, and they are really different. We have three kinds of units, and every player is going to have three kinds of units, but they are sometimes a bit different. So in this case, I'm going to have like four of my little guys and then two of my riders. And I may place them only on my stronghold, but on subsequent rounds, if I control areas, I can reinforce and place my units there as well. So once I have done that, once every player has done that, we can move on to the action phase. So during the action phase, every player is going to take one action. So I'm going to take one action and then next, the next player is going to do so and so on and so forth. What actions can you perform? Well, you have one very simple choice. Either you can equip your army or you can move and fight. So let's start with equipping your army. So you may notice that we have slots for armor and slots for weapons for every of our units. So for example, I'm going to, uh, let's say, buy this for four gold. I'm going to buy the Falcon, place it there on the weapon slot and pay it, obviously. Once I have done that, I have equipped my weapon. I can also swap uh, my weapon so I can place it uh, in other places and same goes with the armor so you can uh, make the best combos with your armor and weapons. Once you buy something, you refill the display. You can also forge legendary items. So in order to forge legendary, legendary uh, weapons and armor, you need to control forge, uh, forges. If you control a forge, well, you may spend crystals to forge these items. To forge these items, you need uh, th uh, six crystals if you have one forge, uh, three crystals if you have two, and so on and so forth. So controlling forges is very important since they are worth one victory point each. So uh, now we have move and fight. So how does it work? It's very liberal and you're going to check here we have like symbols which are going to tell us uh, how much movement do we have, how much hit points do we have, and how much attack do we have. So in this case, I'm going to be able to, for example, do this, and then I want to control that city, so I'm going to move all of my army there. And this is really good for me, because I'm just going to trigger combat here. I could have triggered combat with my opponent there, but I want to show you how to fight with the elves, which is uh, kind of similar to fighting my opponents. So, Combat is played in Assault. When you lead an Assault, you are going to roll dice according to your highest uh, strength units. So in this case, my small guys have 3 attack and my riders have 4, but they have the Falcon, so they have 6 dice. So I'm going to roll my 6 dice and every single, uh, every skull is a hit. And then I'm going to allocate those hits on the units and if I uh, equal their health, I can remove one token or one unit if it's uh, on my opponents. So I'm going to roll these. Sometimes I have re-rolls, sometimes I have extra uh, extra bonuses, 
And in this case, let's assume that I have like four hits. In this case, I have four hits and I may allocate three to kill any elf I want. So I'm going to uh, eliminate this elf and elves become crystals. So you take them and turn them into crystals and this is the currency you want uh, to forge your legendary weapons. If you control elven cities at the end of the turn, you also get legendary crystals to forge weapons. So this is basically how it works when you, once you have allocated all of your hits, if any remain, well, too bad for you. And if you didn't kill any units, you get a rage token, which is basically a, uh, a guaranteed hit on every subsequent assault. Then the other player or the elves are going to lead an assault. If you have just taken an assault, you may want to flee, but the elves will never flee. Uh, their home. So you continue until a player flees or um, a player or uh, elves are dead and this is how you fight in uh, Clash of Rage. At the end of the combat you are going to discard all of the rage tokens that you might have and then that's it. So every player is going to be performing one action as I told you, then you have some reinforcements. If players control these areas with the stones, they get extra units based on the shape of the stone. And then you move on to a second action phase. Every player is going to take one action and then during that phase, at the end of that second action, if a player, if the active player has four victory points or more, they win the game instantly. So this is how you close the game of Clash of Rage, making it kind of a race. If no player uh, finishes the game, well, basically you are going to be playing other rounds, but the elves are going to get stronger because they are going to get equipment as well. There you have it, this is Clash of Rage. This is an area control game in which you have to micromanage your team and your clan, but you also have to manage the resources that you deny your opponents. So now bye-bye and see you on Ludovox.fr. <laughs>